Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, today we're going to continue to look at cost, volume, profit analysis, and this is part three. If you have missed the two previous lessons, the links are in the description below. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate break-even points. And this is just a review for an in-depth knowledge of this. You should visit the link in the description below. Also, to calculate margin of safety. And margin of safety basically is the excess of budgeted or actual sales over break-even volume of sales. It states the amount by which sales can drop before losses begin to be incurred. So we're going to look at calculating that very soon. And our next objective is to calculate desired sales level to reach a desired profit. When we talk about desired profit, we're talking about targeted profit, or you could say targeted net income, or you could say target net profit analysis. This basically look at the income objective firms set for individual product lines. It indicates the sales necessary to achieve a specified level of income. And yes, we will be doing our calculation of that. To carry out this concept or these concepts, I'll be using 2019 number 3A. And it reads, unique design manufacturers product 753, 753. The company has budgeted to produce 650 units to be sold for $23,000 per unit. The following standard was established. So our first labor writer is giving us the budgeted amount, while the other part of it states the following actual costs were incurred during the last quarter when 600 units were produced. And notice this table, is giving you the overall cost. While the top one actually give you the budgeted cost for units, even though you're given the budgeted overall cost for the fixed cost, you're asked to calculate the following break even in units. How do we calculate that? We're going to check our formula sheet and people, once you're in exam, ensure that you write your formula. And the formula to calculate break even in points is simply fixed cost divided by contribution margin. But before you can actually calculate your break even point in units, you need to determine what is contribution margin. And it is simply selling price minus variable cost. So contribution margin is selling price minus variable cost. So let us get to doing our calculation. So the first thing that we're going to calculate, people remember, that is our contribution margin. Now, bear in mind that there are two approaches to this question. You could use the budgeted figures as well as the actual figures. So in this lesson, I'll be focusing on doing the calculation using the budgeted figures. In our next lesson, we will do our workings using the actual figures, okay? So the first thing that we need to calculate is our contribution margin. And our contribution margin, people remember, that is the sales per unit minus the variable cost. And this is 23,000, which is our sales price. Let me just highlight that for you on the question. And our sale, sales price per unit is $23,000. We are now going to pick up, which in we're gonna subtract those, or variable cost per unit. And all three of these constitute our variable costs. So in calculating our selling price, which is 23,000 minus the total of our variable costs. So it is total direct material cost, which is 6,750. To that, we're going to add our direct labor, which is also a variable cost of 2,000. And we are going to add as well our variable overheads and that is $1,200. And in continuing our calculation, it is 23,000 minus our total variable cost of 9,950. And this gives us a contribution margin of 
$13,050 per unit. Now that we have that, we are able to calculate our break even points in units. And remember, that is simply the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin. So back to the question, let's continue our working. So our break even points in units, we pick up our fixed costs and from the question, our fixed cost is, from the question or fixed cost, let me highlight that for you, our fixed cost is $5,128,650. So that is uh, 528650 and we are going to divide this by our contribution margin. And our contribution margin, based on our calculation done earlier, is $13,050. And our break-even points is after calculating, we get 393 units. All right, and that is our result for part AI of the question. Now that we have completed the first part of A, which was to calculate break even in units, we're gonna move into the second part, which is to calculate margin of safety. And just a reminder, we're using the budgeted figures in our workings for this session. In our next session, we will use the actual figures. Let's look at the formula in calculating margin of safety. And remember people, you need to write your formula when you're doing your response. And margin of safety in units is equal to selling units minus break even units. And let us move into our calculation. The budgeted number of units to be sold are 650 units and our break even points in units is 393 units. That is what we have calculated in part I of the question. So our response, having written the formula, remember you must write your formula. We are going to do our workings and that is 650 minus 393 units, and that give us 257 units as our margin of safety. The margin of safety could be calculated as well using dollars. So it could be calculated using sales dollars. Well, let us look at the formula for that. And that is, sales dollars minus break even sales dollars. So let us do that calculation. So you could use either of them to calculate your margin of safety. So in applying that one, the budgeted sales in dollars would be the 650 units multiplied by the sales price of 23,000. And from that, you would subtract your break even in sales dollars and to get that it is the 393 units multiplied by the selling price of 23000 and this give us 1,495,000 dollars as the budgeted sales dollars and we're going to subtract the value of 9 million and 30 Nine thousand thirty nine thousand for the break even sales dollars to give us the margin of safety in sales dollars, and that is five million nine hundred and eleven thousand dollars. And remember, what we have calculated is our margin of safety in sales dollars. Okay, and the first one was in units. 
Now that we have done that, we are going to move in to part three of A. And that is to calculate the number of units that must be sold if the company wants to make a total profit of $4,306,500. So we're going to look at the formula in calculating that. So basically that is break-even points in units is equal to fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by a contribution margin. So it is similar to calculating break-even points in units. It's just that you're going to add your targeted profit to your fixed cost and then you divide by contribution margin. And remember we have ascertained contribution margin before. To get contribution margin, that is the selling price minus the variable cost. So let us look at calculating or break even points to achieve a profit of 4,306,500. So we're going to pick up our fixed costs as indicated in the formula. We're going to add our targeted profit, which is the 4,306,500. And then we're going to divide the value that we get by the contribution margin, where we had calculated a contribution margin earlier in part one of this question, which is $13,050. So we're going to proceed to do our calculation. So here we go with that. Our fixed cost is 5,128,650. To that, we're going to add our targeted profit of 4,306,500. And then, we are going to divide this by the contribution margin of 13,050. And this gave us a result of seven hundred and twenty-three units. And that is our response for part three where we are asked to calculate the number of units that must be sold if the company wants to make a total profit of 4,306,500 for the quarter. But there is an alternative, and that is to use the route of calculating break-even points in sales dollars. But when you, when you get your result for this, remember they ask us for units, so you'd have to divide this by the selling price in order to get the units. So the formula in generating this is fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by a contribution margin. But you need to determine your contribution margin in order to get to this. And your contribution margin is simply your contribution margin per unit divided by your selling price per unit. So let us look at our calculation in using this alternative. And we go with calculating our contribution margin ratio first. And to calculate that, remember, it is simply the contribution margin divided by the selling price. And the contribution margin, which was calculated in part A, I, is 13,050. And we are going to divide this we're going to divide this by the selling price, and the selling price is $23,000 per unit. And our result is 0 0.57. Or if you want to report this in percent, you just simply multiply by 100, and that will give you 57%. Now that we have that, we can then proceed to calculate or break even in sales dollars to achieve a targeted a targeted profit and remember the formula for this is simply let me take you back to the formula sheet that is the fixed cost plus targeted profit divided by a contribution margin ratio so when you go back to the question or fixed costs, remember we're using the budgeted figures, is 5,128,650.
So that is 5,128,650 dollars. And to this, we are going to add the targeted profit of 4,306,500. That is 4,306,500 dollars. And we are going to divide this. So we're going to divide this by the contribution margin ratio, which was calculated earlier, and that is 0 0.57, or you could simply say 57%. And our result after calculating is $16,000, that is $16,552,895. But tell you what, this is in dollars and we were asked to show the amount in units so our result in order to show that in units all we're going to do so to get units we are going to divide the result that we get which is sixteen thousand five fifty two eight ninety five we're going to divide this by the selling price to get the number of units and the selling price is $23,000. That is coming from the question. And our result in units is 719.69, or you could round that off to the nearest old number, and that would be 720 units. Okay. And that basically take us to the end of this lesson where we looked at calculating break even in units, margin of safety, and the number of units that must be sold if the company wants to make a targeted profit of 4,306,500. And remember for this lesson, I have used the budgeted figures. In our next lesson, we will do our calculation. We will do our response using the actual figures like share and don't forget to subscribe